In this video, we are going to solve previous gate problem related to root locus. You can observe the problem here. This is given in gate 90. The transfer function of a closed loop system is T of S is equal to K by S square plus 3 minus K into S plus 1 plus K where K is the forward path gain, the root locus plot of the system is. What they given is they given closed loop transfer function of the control system. From this closed loop transfer function, they are asking which diagram, which root locus diagram will suits for that closed loop control system they are asking. So, here general way to calculate the root locus diagram, general way to draw the root locus diagram is we need to um, evaluate the number of poles and zeros after that centroid, after that asymptotes or branches, angle of asymptotes, break even point and all this we need to get. But when you observe the options, so here the options are not given with all those points. What they given is just they given some information. They gi just given a shape and number of poles on the re real and imaginary axis. If you observe option number A, so in this option number A, what, what is the meaning of this k equal to 0, k is equal to infinity means by this root locus diagram of option A, they are saying that when we substitute k is equal to 0, then you are going to get two poles on the real axis. When you are substituting k is equal to infinity, you are going to get two zeros on the imaginary axis. This is the meaning of option A. Now, coming to option B, here they are saying that when you substitute k equal to 0, you are going to get two poles and when you substitute k is equal to 1, you are going to get one pole. When you substitute k is equal to 3, you are getting two poles on imaginary axis. Now, coming to option C, so here also k equal to 0, you are going to get two poles when k is equal to infinity. So, then you are having asymptotes, lines and uh, here you are having some poles. So, now here you are having option D and here also when you substitute k is equal to 0, you are going to get two poles. These are the diagrams given. When you given with this type of questions, you need to do inspection method. Why? Because the process of drawing that root locus diagram, it will take so much time, it will nearly take 15-20 minutes. But uh, um, doing that process is typical in gate like technical exams. So, inspection methods are very important in this point of view. So, if you observe, if, if you observe these diagrams, the general points we can substitute is k is equal to 0 is common. So, that is why I am going to substitute k is equal to 0 first in the characteristic equation of transfer function. So, from where we will get poles means definitely from denominator of our transfer function, we are going to get the poles. So, that is why I am considering the denominator of transfer function to get my poles 3 minus k into s plus 1 plus k. So, is equal to 0. This transfer function I am considering to calculate the number of poles. So, here if you observe this characteristic equation, if I substituted k is equal to 0, then I am going to get s square plus 3s plus 1 is equal to 0. If you consider the roots, roots means minus b plus r minus, minus b means here already I am having b value as 3. So, minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So, by using this formula, you got the roots of this characteristic equation as so divided by 2. If you observe this value, as you are having plus or minus, you are having two poles here. But the two poles are real poles only. Why? Because root 5 value is real value. If you added or subtracted from minus 3, so you are going to get real value. If you divided with 2 also, you are going to get real value. That means you are not going to get any j or i in this value. So, at k is equal to 0, you are going to get two poles. These two poles are real. So, here at k is equal to 0, in all these diagrams, when k is equal to 0, you are having two poles, all the two poles are real. So, from this k is equal to 0, we can't estimate the value of 
root locus diagram. So, if you observe k is equivalent to 3, if you observe k is equivalent to 3, that means they given like this. When we substitute k is equivalent to 3, we need to get 2 poles on imaginary axis. So, otherwise, for example, if k is equivalent to 3, at k is equivalent to 3, if you got any imaginary poles, then definitely this option is right option. If any one of one of the option is right, remaining all options will be wrong only. For example, if k is equivalent to, at k is equivalent to 3, if you are not getting poles on the imaginary axis, definitely this option will be wrong option. This option will decide the all options. So, here if you substitute k is equivalent to 3 in the characteristic equation, s square plus 3 minus 3 into s plus 1 plus 3 is equivalent to 0. s square plus 3 minus 3 into s plus 1 plus 3 is equivalent to 0. So, here you are going to get s square plus 4 is equivalent to 0. s square is equivalent to minus 2. If s square is equivalent to minus 2, yes, I can write it as root of minus 2. That means, so this is plus or minus j root 2. We can say this is equivalent to plus or minus j root 2. So, here we are having again two poles. That two poles are imaginary poles. That means, we got this. By varying k value, this is suitable to option b. When you considered k equal to 0, you got 2 poles on real axis. When you calculated k is equal to 3, so you need to get imaginary poles. As I am having imaginary poles at one of k value, here I am not having imaginary poles in any one of the diagram. Here I am having imaginary 0. So, this option is right option as I am having imaginary poles at k is equal to 3 and real poles at k is equal to 0. By the inspection method, by varying the k value in the characteristic equation, the roots are similar to this root locus diagram. So, option B will be the right option for this problem.